audience. Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with some Bubsy. You betcha. We are still in Canada. And if you like still being in Canada, if you could like this video, comment and subscribe. We're pretty close to whoa, stop it. We're pretty close to the end of the game as far as I'm aware. I think I could be wrong, but I think that this is kind of like either the last world or the second to last. I'm not 100% sure. Also, I hate this. This feels like I'm going to be murdered. Ooh. Watch out for these. These little briar trees. These will, of course, kill you. <laughs> oh, of course kill you. As I almost land on them. What I did learn about the buttons is that you can hold down... Let's check one. You can hold down the, um, the, the look and see button. Oh, boy. And it will just stay with you. So, it's not a temporary thing. If you just want to hold on to it, you can. Ooh. We like a this. It's a very nice. Ooh, whoa, hello. Yeah. There's just so many elements of this game that... And I'm not trying to sound like I'm complaining here. Maybe I am, I don't know. About this 90s platformer. Is that sometimes the elements of it don't feel like the platforming is meant to be the focus of it. It's meant to be like... Muscle memory and knowing when things are going to pop out. And you just have to just routinely spend lives and I guess that was probably a commodity in game design back in the day because they wanted you to keep playing their game and so to keep people oops because that kind of crap can happen to keep people playing the game Is there a veterinarian in the audience? you had to make it hard and so this is one way to artificially make it hard for people is to ramp up the difficulty in stupid ways not even in ways that really make sense or add any sort of like value to the game besides like replayability but even the replayability it's not high like it's not it's not enjoyable replayability it almost kind of feels like cheap cheap gags and stuff but obviously I'm still playing it I am going to beat it this game will be in my repertoire of completed Super Nintendo Sundays games before too long I promise all of you see we're gonna attack by just everything here in the the great north. Hopefully I did my little thing about liking, commenting, and subscribing. I don't know if I did, but if I didn't, like and comment, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I will say uh, in advance. There we go. Very careful here. I have noticed that there has been an uptick in the channel from the YouTube shorts and from the animations and stuff like that. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been paying attention to that and has been commenting and noticing. I really, really appreciate it. It helps a lot and I'm very self-aware of this kind of stuff. So anytime that you're going to notice the efforts that I'm putting into it, it means a lot to me. This channel, I've been around for a while and I haven't really done the proper steps, I would say, to inhibit good growth. So I'm trying that now. I'm learning the errors of my ways, viewers. We're doing it for you. Right, this looks safe fish. Anytime that I have stuff coming at me, it just makes me a little alarmed that it's a trap. This probably is still a trap. But I am going to hold the right button, the R shoulder button, of course, because I am looking to the right. And that gives me a little bit of a heads up view, which I wasn't. Like I said before in like an older episode when I first discovered this, I didn't know that was even a thing. Further, I'm also prioritizing trying to do just little hops. All right, I bet there's probably going to be some crab down here. I'm just going to hang out for a second and see. Yep, I'm on to you, game. Alright. Oh, give me, give me the platform. I don't feel safe. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> what's happening? Yeah, this is this is pure danger. I don't like this at all. Did I kill that fish? No, I didn't. There's still the one fish. I'm gonna wait till he pops up and see if I can get him. Yes, I got him. I got. Nope, I didn't get him. Where's the platform? There it is. And there's an alligator too. I saw him. He's just bumbling around. Oh, there's a boss on a ramp. Oh no, I don't like this. This is gonna go very poorly for me. Come out of your shell, you 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 bingus. Okay. And that instantly kills you. Is there a in the 
That's pretty cool. What a fun boss. And then I have to get to it again, which is great. Alright, but I think I did- oh, I didn't. Come back, wait for me! Jack, I'll never let go! Alright, yeah, I don't like this at all. I'm glad I know that it's here, though. I don't think that you get any sort of credit for hitting the- oh, there you go. Because you can kind of cheese it if you- Yeah, that's rough. Because when you hit it, you don't- there's no- you don't gain any momentum from jumping on it, which is unfortunate. It doesn't boost you up at all in any way, so... Is there a shirt, like a one-up thing? I'd love that. Maybe the raft wants to come back so we can finish this dumb fight. I'm probably going to have to redo this series of levels anyway, if I had to guess. Because I feel it continue in my future. Whoop! Gonna try to just land on this. There's bombs too. And now the raft is slowly disappearing. I guess that's part of the gimmick. That's dumb. Okay. Viewers, this is really cool and fun, isn't it? Isn't this enjoyable? To see me struggle? Whatever you're into. Alright. Hopefully you all feel for me. Maybe you have concern for my well-being because this sucks. But if I can finish this, I'm probably just going to... Oh, that just kills you. Great. If I can finish this in the next three lives, I'm probably just going to replay it using like the password and see if I can get back to um, get back to a good amount of lives because I don't think I'm finishing this game. Even I don't even know if I can finish this boss. I didn't realize this was the last level of this Canada excursion. The excursion to the Great White North. All right. Oh, is that it? Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was dumb. That just feels unfair. Like, did I cheese it? I don't know. I guess we're gonna do one more level. I wasn't. All right, I wasn't planning to do this. And this is further than I've ever been. This looks kind of like a like a jungle. I think we only spent three... Whoa, I don't like this at all. I like this music a lot more than the banjo, though. I think we only spent three levels in the... in, in Canada. Sorry, Canada, you got short-shifted a little bit. Are these things you can climb on? Okay, cool. Is there... I would... Um, I would surmise maybe a life over... Oh... <laughs> that is mean. I don't know if the passwords are unique every time they give them out but if they're not unique I'm just gonna pull from the internets and uh, try to help myself out here Ooh, that should have killed me help myself out here and get a fresh set of lives cuz they already took away my balls whoa hey I don't care for you and your kind oh it was just yarn balls literally nothing of value and once again, I'm not indebted to these lives either. I don't care about my score or whatever. I'm just trying to be successful in any way possible. Looks like there's nothing that way. It's kind of weird jungle Jack and the Beanstalk. Is that what we're headed towards? Is that going to be the final boss of the game? It's going to be like a giant, giant woolly, maybe? All right, this is making me nervous. Okay. I mean, everything has tried to kill me so far, so why not? Trees. There's, looks like bees or flying ants or something. Alright. This just this feels endless. Oh, there's spiders. Apologies for those of you with arachnophobia. I think it's interesting is, like, there are games that will have, like, arach arachnophobia safe modes so you can like turn off spiders if you're afraid of that oh this is the highest I can go I'm gonna glide I guess Whoa. Oh, there's a life under there that was very lucky there's arachnophobia safe modes but have there uh, haves has there ever been like a mode I don't even know how you get to that how do you get to that 
Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. That's a trap. But you haven't noticed that there's never like modes like for people like me who are afraid of bees and other winged insects. You don't see any bees friendly mode. So yeah, maybe this isn't the jungle. This is just some tree related. Can I stand on this? Nope. Nope. Gotta kill these dumb pelicans. Yeah, the music is definitely better. It's still brutally repetitive. But I don't hate it as much. Oh, checkpoint. I say that now, though. You know how I'm about to feel. Alright, is this... What is, what, is the, what is the point of this? Where did this just take me to? Is this just a backwards loop? Just the disrespect from the developers? Alright, this isn't too bad. It's kind of funky, I guess. But this is after me playing it for a few minutes. And you know that is not how this is going to go. Where are you getting the cheese from? Where's that happening? Whoa! Yeah, they're just tossing out obstacles and enemies at this point. The gloves are off. We're in the final world, I think. You can get a nice little taste of it today. Because I finished the other the other fight too soon. I didn't expect that to happen. Alright, rule of thirds, done. I will kill you because I hate you and everything you stand for. Alright. I don't know how you're like everything is so unassuming. It's really difficult to get a grasp. What the heck was that? Is that a monkey? I mean it would make sense, it's climbing on vines. Kind of looks like the animation of of when Diddy and Dixie climb ropes in Donkey Kong Country 2, which you may see someday. I have discussed potentially playing that. Whoa. What the heck are you? Well, you're dead now. That's what you are. I have discussed playing that potentially with uh, Odin, so you might see that someday. That'd be fun. With my boy Odin Spake. The world famous. Ooh, I don't like any of this. Can I jump in between like your spin cycles? Ooh. What are these things supposed to be? Are they bees? That was not meant to be a pun, by the way. Or that. Oh gosh. Yeah, I guess they're kind of like hornets or bees or something like that. Zoop. I'm not trying to set high scores here. Or like, oh my gosh, what are you? I take your, your 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 rocket ship. I'm probably gonna die. Ooh. The game doesn't feel as unfair, at least when I'm going downwards. But I feel like the the goal of this is they want you to like the end of the level is probably in the sky somewhere. Let's take this. I guess I didn't. All right, that's dumb. Oh, this is a bonus, though. Ooh, let's see how fast we can lose this one. Oh, yeah. Viewers, you ready for this? I kid you not. I'm going to lose this very fast. In the tomato sauce of Bubsy. Okay. I did okay-ish. I mean, in the past, you've seen me ruin these bonuses in the first five seconds, so... I suppose hanging on for a little bit longer was good. Alright, so... Progress. Um, yeah, I wish there was more of an indicator. This is where we just were. Have I been this way? I, yeah, that's the thing that sucks too, is... It doesn't seem like the enemies are respawning much. So I don't know if the progress I'm making is good or not. Is that a woolly or a monkey? I couldn't see. Ooh. Oh, there is a checkpoint, though. I was going back towards the bees, and that felt like that's what I was supposed to be doing, but I'm not 100% sure anymore. But there are balls over here still, so... Is 
This music kind of feels like the song Tequila. Another like weird, creepy alien things. I don't know. Those do not look like anything I've ever seen. All right, we're running out of time though. I feel like you do got to go back towards the bees. This is not the bees' knees, but I do need to hurry up because I'm running out of space and time. Okay. I feel like that might have just killed, like, might have just ruined this for me. Unless I can get up to the bees' nest fast. Yeah, this is not, this is not great, viewers. I'm not loving this. I'm trying to rush through a Bubsy level with my two lives, which I probably will have magically more of the next time you see me play this. That's not an accident. I will have to replace some of this or find a, a level starter somewhere else just because I'm not confident in my ability to do this. My confidence is shaky, viewers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let's be careful and see if we can jump on the ship. I missed it again. That's really frustrating. Where else can you go? It's just, everything is so nondescript. There's no real, like, designation on where you should be going. Oh, there's the ground. Can I just run to the end? Or is the end going to be in this guy? Okay, so it's definitely not on the ground. Is there any way to get back up there? Yeah, this just kind of sucks. I just need more time, viewers. I need more time. Yeah, this is the only way, I guess. And I'm obviously not going to find where I'm going in 45 seconds, so... Going to be the old reset here in a moment. I'm assuming they intend for you to find this beforehand, that little warp, and then you take that to uh, over here. That gets you moving and grooving. Yeah, these platforms are really small, which is great. Not hard to land on at all. Just me kind of doing a little bit of exploring. I guess I can try to figure out how to get this. Oh, you just jump into it. It's like a trampoline. Oh, that was actually really helpful, though, because now that life can serve as my refresh. Alright, so this should put me here. Pretty useful life that I just unintentionally... Well, not, I wouldn't say unintentionally, but unexpectedly maybe grabbed but we have to go back to I believe well then they give me three minutes that's rude this looks like the way to progress and I feel like that rocket ship has something to do with it maybe does it I mean maybe I don't know what does this do where does this take me? Everything just feels so the same, you know? I'm like losing track of where I'm supposed to be going. Running out of yarn balls to guide my way. What a great level design. I have no idea what I'm doing. There's no enemies, there's no yarn balls, I'm just kind of like meandering through this dumb tree. I think this is the warp I took that got me to where I was before. I mean, you saw me go through the area with like the monkeys and stuff, climbing on the, the vines. I thought that's what it was, but maybe not. This is the one checkpoint I had. I mean, logically you'd think that Going from left to right. 
as we are known to do, would be the way out of this. Do I have to, like... Okay. Can I go further than this? What's the furthest I can go? Like, this seems like this is the highest platform I can get to. And this just leads me to the bees. So what happens if I go here? Ooh, this is new, and I died immediately. That's it. I'm here. I thought that that final shaft was telling me to stay away. But it appears that it was not. It was an invitation. Alright, and we landed on this. Ooh, not today. Hello, you dumb spider. Alright, this is horrible. Well, I don't care for any of this. Oop. I'm assuming we're going up, which is just what I wanted to do. I don't like that they don't give you a full refresh of time, though. That feels rude. Okay. Now what? Is it down? What are, what is it? What are you... Okay. I mean, I haven't gone down over here, I guess. Seems like this is the path forward, maybe? Is there somewhere to stand? That's my big thing. Am I going to... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> was that the thing that was climbing the tree? What the heck? Oh, there's just a lot. There's a lot going on right now, viewers. Oh, I don't like this. Is there a life down there? As we've seen now, those are trampolines, apparently, so... I'm just gonna sneak right past you, maybe? Alright. Do I have to glide through that? Is that, like, the... The ultimate challenge? These kill me if I don't do it right? Yeah, this level sucks. If, is, is everything like this... Is, is every level going to be like this? Okay, well that was cool. I got a life out of it, I guess. You know, there's just not a lot of time to explore and like... The goal of this is to be done in one try? No way. Give me this. Give me your ship. Oh, there's another life right here. That's awesome. Back to back lives, whoa! It's like they want you to go up, and then down, and then up, and then down. What a fun mechanic. Alright. You just... It's like, I don't know how you're supposed to know where you're going. Oh, there's another checkpoint. Oh my gosh. How long is this? This level is infinite. This level sucks. I'm not going to take that warp because I have a feeling it'll take me backwards. Oh my gosh. Viewers, this is the longest level in the world. This is the... The Super Nintendo Sunday's episode is not meant to be this long, but this level is infinitely long. And hard. Coarse. As you'd expect. I have redeemed myself a little bit with the lives, which is good, but... We'll need a refresh here again. We did get that checkpoint, which is nice. It'd be nice if they'd give you more than three minutes. Or, I have a minute. And I just died instantly. That's it. I'm here. You can't make me. No kidding. I don't have to redo this, but I'm kind of feeling like I might. Where does this go now? Okay. I mean, I'm up now. Can this just be the end? Oh, thank goodness, viewers. <laughs> I should have taken it the first time. Yeah. So, what's going to happen is, I'm probably just going to have to go and, like, find a, like, a level select that'll let me start over with more lives in this, because one is not going to cut it. But thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with some Bubsy. If you could like the video, comment, and subscribe, and continue following the YouTube shorts. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.